All right, so what we're looking at here is solving linear equation word problems. And all that means is we are going to be solving equations, but they have some meaning. And we're going to have to figure out uh, initially uh, how to substitute into the equation because what's going to happen is all of our equations are going to have two values, two variables, and we're going to know one of them. And then we're going to substitute in for one of those values and then find the other. So, for example, number one, uh, the student council is organizing a dance before COVID. <laughs> the profit from the dance depends on the number of tickets sold. The profit P in dollars and the number of tickets sold T is represented by the equation P equals 4T minus 1200. What is the profit is the question when 450 tickets are sold. All right. So first off, we have our equation, which again is. P equals 4T minus 1200. And as I said before, just mentioned, we have two variables this time. Our variables are P and T. And so we are, with this question, we are going to know one of them and we're going to have to find the other one. So in this case, I read the question. It says, number one, what is the profit? So that is already telling me that P is equal to we don't know and then we have this other piece of information coming our way where it says when 450 tickets are sold so that is telling me one of my variables and that's the t is 450. so we don't know one of the variables and we do know the other one so what i can do now is substitute into my equation 4t and then find the p solve for the p so in this case i have four times t but again i know t now is 450 and i minus 1200 1200 all right now uh bedmas well the best thing about solving this equation is the variable is already isolated it's just figuring things out now because i have the p by itself all right, so again, Bedmas, I got to follow here where I'm going to take my four times 450. I've got to do my multiplying first, and I get 1,800 minus my 1,200. All right, and then I can solve those, solve that final uh, subtraction question there. And uh, 1,800 subtract 1,200 is 600. So when 450 tickets were sold, they made a profit of 600. Now we go the other way here where again, part B, completely different question, but again, the same situation. So I do have my formula P equals 40 minus 1,200. All right, now it says, how many tickets have to be sold for the profit to be 500? So again, it's asking how many tickets? So it wants to know the T value. That's what we're trying to find out. The other variable that we do know is we need the profit to be 500 bucks. So now we know the P is 500. So that's the hardest part about a word problem is figuring out what do you have and what are you trying to find out? So in this case, I have got my P value. So I've got my equation. I'm going to substitute in a 500 for it. All right, is equal to 4T minus 1200. All right, now solving equations. Ah, this time my variable isn't isolated. Uh, so I'm going to isolate that variable, but first I got to separate it by putting all my numbers to one side, variable to the other. And so I'm gonna move this minus 1,200 over to the other side. And again, when things change sides, they change signs. So instead of being a minus 1,200, it's gonna be a positive 1,200 is equal to my 4T. Well, I've uh, separated my terms. I've got, like I said, I've got my T's on one side, numbers on the other, but I do have to put them together. And 500 plus 1,200 is 1,700. 
And again, that's equal to 4t. All right, now again, uh, looking at solving equations, I want to get isolate my variable. Well, right now it's got a 4 attached to it, so I can divide it off. So what I'm going to divide by 4 on each side, that will divide my 4s out. And so the amount of tickets, T, is equal to whatever 1,700 divided by 4 is, and I'm getting 425 tickets is how much you would have to sell to make 500 bucks. All right. Uh, oh, I got to see here. All right. So again, a completely different question, same scenario. So because it's the same scenario here, I'm going to write down my formula. So I got P is equal to 4T minus 1,200. All right, so this time, let's see here, read the question. How many tickets have to be sold for the dance to break even? Okay, well, first part it says is how many tickets again? So that's what I'm trying to find out. But P, I don't see a number there. Well, have to be sold for the dance to break even. Ah, break even means you don't make money, you don't lose money. So P is equal to zero is what break even is all about. All right. So I've got, uh, I know what variable I'm trying to find. I've got the one that I've, I've figured out one of them, what one of them is. And so now I'm going to substitute in and solve for that T. All right. So now I have a zero is equal to four times T minus uh, 1,200. All right, so again, I have to uh, separate my terms. So get my numbers to one side, T's on the other. So I'm gonna, again, move this 1,200 over to the other side. And so again, uh, change the sides, change the sign. It's gonna be a 1,200 is equal to four T. All right, so I've separated my variables. Now it's time to isolate my variables. So again, I'm going to have to cut this or divide this four off. What I do to one side, I'm going to do to the other. And so those fours divide each other out. And so my T value is equal to, let's see, 1,200 uh, divided by four. I get 300. And we're, again, we're talking about tickets. There we go. So break even, all you have to do is sell 300 tickets to make 500 bucks, 425 tickets. And if you sell 450 tickets, well, you make 600 bucks. Not bad. All right, so let's try a different one here. Example two. The cost to produce a yearbook is given by the equation C equals four times N plus 950 where C dollars is the cost, okay, to produce N yearbooks. All right. So in A, what is the cost to produce 350 yearbooks? All right. So again, I've got my equation. I'm going to write it down here. C is equal to 4 times N plus 950. It says, again, if I'm reading the question, what is the cost? So that's my C value I'm looking for. And to produce 350 yearbooks. Well, N is the number of yearbooks, so N is 350. All right, so now I know what I'm looking for. I know what information I have, so I'm going to substitute it into the equation. All right, so I have a C equals, because I don't know C. Uh, I have a 4 times the N, which I now know is 350, plus 950. All right, well, uh, our variables is already isolated and separated. So this is uh, one of the rare ones where we can just figure it out. And again, following Bedmus, I got to do multiplying before I add that 950. And so uh, I take 4 times 350, and I get 
400 plus 950. So our cost, well, I'm going to add those two numbers together. We're talking about dollars here. And uh, 1,400 plus 950 is $2,350 to produce 350 yearbooks. All right. Uh, we get to B. How many yearbooks can be produced for $2,150? Okay. So again, different question but same situation. So I'm gonna write down my formula for this situation. C equals 4N plus 950. Uh, let's see, what information? How many yearbooks? So we are looking for N. All right, uh, can produce for this much money. So the cost is 2,150. All right, so I know what variable I'm trying to find. I know which one I have. So now again, I'm going to substitute into my equation here. So my C value is 2,150. I have my 4N plus 950. There we go. All right, so my next step to solving this equation, because I'm not expanding here, there's no brackets, but uh, is to separate and collect like terms. So get my variables to one side. Keep my ends on this side. I'm going to move my 950 over to the other side. So I want to get that N by itself. And so uh, when I move that 950 to the other side, it's going to change signs to minus 950. And that's equaling 4N. All right. So I uh, still need to simplify there. So I take my 2,150, uh, subtract 950, and I get 1,200 is equal to 4N. All right, well, let's see here. My last step, uh, I'm going to divide by 4 to get n by itself to isolate that variable. And so n is whatever 1,200 divided by 4 is, and I get uh, 300. And that's the amount of yearbooks. That we got going on there we go all right let's try another example let's see here example three uh a student council's uh a school student council raises money by selling hot dogs at basketball games uh the profit p so we're talking about profit again uh from selling n hot dogs is represented by p is equal to 2n minus 60. okay all right, so again, we have a situation. So I'm going to write down my formula here. P is equal to 2N minus 60. And so I, again, I have my two variables. And uh, so I read the question here. What is the profit? Okay, so that's P equals. We don't know. That's what we're trying to find out here. Uh, when 100 hot dogs are sold. So N is the number of hot dogs. So it looks like N is 100. All right. So I know what I have and I know what I'm trying to find. So I'm going to substitute into my equation. So I got P equals uh, 2, but N is 100. And then I have my minus 60. All right, so again, my variable is already isolated. Everything's separated, which is good. All I have to do is do a little bit of math here, Bedmus. Uh, so 2 times 100, i got to do my multiplying first, is 200 minus 60. Well, 200 minus 60, you know that one? It's $140. Whoops. $140 is our profit. Here we go. All right, so uh, and then we get to B, which again, we're looking at uh, a different question, same situation. So P equals 2N minus 60. All right, and it says, uh, how many hot dogs? So right away it's saying, find your N value. What's your N? 
uh, must be sold to make a profit of $240 this time. So P is equal to 240. All right, so I've got my information. I know what I'm trying to find. And so I'm going to substitute in. So I know P is 240, put that in there, is equal to, uh, well, we don't know the rest, so 2N minus 60. All right, so again, uh, I've got to ice, uh, get my variable, separate my variable. So I got to get my N on one side, numbers on the other. So I'm going to move this minus 60 over to the other side. And again, when things switch sides, they switch signs. So it was a minus 60, now it's a plus 60 is equal to 2n. All right, so uh, I've separated my terms, got my numbers on one side and on the other, but now I got to put them together. So uh, 240 plus 60 is 300. All right, and now my last step here is to isolate my variable. So I'm going to have to divide by 2, to divide that 2 off. And again, what I do to one side, I do to the other. And so those twos divide each other out, and the n value, the number of hot dogs we're looking for here is 300 divided by 2, which is 150 hot dogs. A lot of hot dogs. But at a school event, I could see it happen. All right. Oh, C. Last part, last one. Again, different question. Uh, but same scenario. So I still have my formula here of P is equal to, what was it here? 2N minus 60. All right. Now figuring out what we got, uh, again, though, it says how many hot dogs again for C. So I'm looking for N again. Don't have it. All right. So, uh, now that means we must have the other so break even again ah break even again refers to a profit of being zero you neither make money or lose money you just break even nothing happens all right so i'm going to substitute in my values all right so let's see here p is zero and i'm finding my n so there's a zero equal to 2n uh, minus 60. All right, so uh, again, I want to separate my letters, my letter and my numbers. So I'm going to move that minus 60 once again over to the other side. Change the side, change the sign. So that's now a positive 60 is equal to 2n. All right, last step. I want to isolate my variable here by dividing both sides by 2. And that's because that two will divide this two off right there. And to break even, we would have to sell 60 divided by two, which is 30. And we're talking about hot dogs. And there we go. So again, when we're dealing with a word problem, I write down the equation. I figure out what I'm looking for and what information I have. I plug that information in and then I solve for my variable. Sometimes, like in A here, it's straight away where we, all we have to do is math because the variable's already uh, separated and isolated. But other times, not so much where we do have to solve equations by again moving, getting all our numbers to one side, our variable on the other, and then finally isolating for that variable.